So anyway, um, how did how did you uh, how did you get interested in drawing? Uh, back in high school, actually, actually before that, way back in elementary school, I entered a book contest. Uh, you had to create your own book, and it was on Godzilla, actually. And then that from there I went over to drawing dinosaurs. So me and my best friend at the time, Scott Charles, uh, we started drawing. I would draw the dinosaurs. He would write the captions, and then it just slowly evolved from there. Uh, then I started drawing wildlife. I took some classes in in college and at one, or in, in high school. And at one point we were doing um, painting. I never did painting before. Uh, doing trees and it was a night scene and I had to draw snow falling. So what I did was I dry, I took a paintbrush, um, tapped it so it was almost completely dry and then took it over my hand and was doing this. And the art teacher couldn't believe what I was doing so I had to teach her on how to make snow on trees falling down. And just, I just liked the creation of it, being creative and uh, just getting my mind to go. It's It's relaxing. I can go in my studio and draw for two or three hours but really it was back in elementary school where it all started and when, uh, when did you get into comic books i got into comic books back in i want to say back in seventh and eighth grade i started you know looking at the art and mainly cover art liking the styles and how wow these guys can really draw really neat and how you know the the, the perspective that they were drawing from and the, the the facial features and the arms and legs and you know the hand coming out at you how does that happen? So then I started buying these comic books, absorbing all this information as much as I can and started my own, you know, to draw that way. I started buying anatomy books. I have a few, I still got them to this day. It's like 30 years old. So I just like the art and then from there just gravitated to where it is today and how big it's gotten. And uh, your favorite characters, I see you do Spider-Man, Spawn, Batman. Uh, who, who's your top? Top is Spawn. And it's, the reason for that is is from the artist, Greg Capullo. He's my mentor. He's the one that, when I first started drawing these comic characters, he's the one I gravitated towards because I liked his style. Um, I liked how detailed he got in, in the drawings. You know, you see little minute things in the hands and the, and, the, and the shading. I just ate that all up. So he's the reason why I gravitated towards that, towards Spawn, because he was drawing that specifically at that time for Image Comics. So... Did you consider a position in the industry, Did, uh, going out and trying to become an illustrator? Have I? I would, that would be my dream. I would love to do it. Yeah. I've never followed up that much. My wife thinks I should, but I never. I just do it for fun and for relaxation. And uh, do you show? No, no. I'd like to, because yeah. we've gone to these, you know, these comic cons. My son and I, or at the time, my other friend who did my coloring for me, we'd go to the Artist Alley and we're looking at all this we can do this we definitely can do this but we never took that next step because then he moved on to another job and lost contact with him but looking for a colorist actually to and a place where you can scan these images to make them look sharp and nice to sell them as prints so yeah all right this has been art talk <laughs> thank you good to have you here in the studio thank you thomas glad to be here